Hey guys, so I am back with another video and I know you guys feel like you are smiling too hard to be having all of this going on. But I told you guys this year I wanted to film some more Halloween Come looks through. and do some Halloween looks for you guys. And this one is a really, really easy one. I did not show you guys how to make the prosthetic, which I did make myself using latex and flower but if you guys need to know how to make wounds and all that kind of stuff i will link a video down below that i like to reference when i'm doing things like this i will have that link down below also the video that inspired me on this look i think um the channel is called and i think i know the channel is called ellie max i'm not sure how long ago she did this video it was like a couple years ago and i've seen it and i always wanted to kind of recreate it on my own and this is what i came up with it's a little bit different my neck isn't as long and as just giraffe like as hers so you know i had to pack in the little boop boops as much as I can and I actually love how it turned out it was really really easy honestly once you do your own prosthetic this process actually goes by really quick so if you just need a really quick look for like that glam Halloween look and you don't have an actual costume doing something like this can just really take it up a notch um this video I did not show you obviously my makeup because it wasn't about that it was about the actual fx uh sfx and um yes yeah, so i wanted to get this video out for you guys um if you guys are not subscribed to my channel definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and turn those notifications on so you don't miss an upload um someone in my last video did say that they weren't getting my notifications even though the notifications bell was turned on i did reach out to youtube and they said that problem should be fixed um so let me know down below if you got this on your notifications down below let me know if you guys are getting them um but this is the look that we're going to be doing so i wanted to film all of these videos in september but here we are two days before october and this is the first video that i'm filming go figure life happens I have a job, I have mouths to feed, bills pay, you know the routine, you know how it goes. Sometimes things just get ahead of me, but like I said, we're going to get to this really, really easy. I'm not going to make this a long intro. I know you guys were like, girl, like your intro would be too long. I'm sorry, but I just want to get as much information to you guys verbally because I know some of you guys do not look down in the description box. So make sure you check the description box um, if you want to know how to make your own prosthetics, wounds, etc. Also, I will link a video to the channel that inspired this whole entire look that I have going on here today. And yeah, that is it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. Bye. So I'm just starting off with my prosthetic and I'm just measuring it and marking where I'm going to be doing that inner portion of the neck. And I'm just taking some cotton balls that I kind of shaped and rolled and cut um, to fit the shape that I need and I'm going to be using liquid latex to attach it you can always use spirit gum I just find when I'm using like cotton or tissue liquid latex is just convenient and I can get it easy on hand or kind of I order mine online but if this is something you guys want to duplicate you can guys can definitely get this um, in stores as well so I'm just going to be applying that and I'm just going to be using the liquid latex to blend out the edges and I'm just going to work my way down and I add about four different sections of like the bone piece. You can always have a reference photo handy if you guys need an idea of where exactly things go. Um, I kind of did mine off of memory and just kind of went with my neck shape. But if you guys need a reference photo, definitely use that as well. And I find that cotton ball actually works better for something like this. That way you're not doing multiple layers. It kind of just naturally gives the shape that you need when you use cotton pads for kind of this area of the body. And now I'm just applying liquid latex all over and kind of making sure everything is in place. And I'm going to just add more cotton pads if I need just to kind of build it up if I need it use a spatula use a sponge use whatever you got and then I'm just going in and making sure that it is shaped correctly that it fits under my prosthetic and I'm just gonna kind of speed dry with the below dryer and now I'm ready to attach my prosthetic and I'm just using again liquid latex again you can use spirit gum 
I'm just using liquid latex because I'm literally just applying this and then going to be ripping it right off when I'm done. Um, so I'm just using liquid latex to apply it and then I'm just going to cut off some of that excess latex. Now I do recommend for this if you do build something like this definitely leave yourself some extra like flappy skin. That way it blends into your skin a lot better. I wish I would have did that on this side that I'm working on now but it ended up working out just fine at the end of the day um, and I'm just gonna again speed dry that with my blow dryer next I'm gonna go in and apply my foundation so that it, it matches better with my complexion um, you can use any foundation you want. I just tend to go with the one that normally matches my natural skin color. Even though the uh, the latex gives an off color, so sometimes the color just be so off. But now I'm going to go in with some black and kind of define those areas in between that neck bone. Um, with some black, I apply it right under my chin and then in between each neck bone. I don't know why that sounds like food to me but you know yo neck bones um, just using the black to define that um, just so that it's pronounced so you can actually see what is going on and it's not just a big blob of cotton pads but you know it's kind of defined giving it some sort of you know visual effect then I'm going to go in with the red and apply that to the edges of that neck piece right into the little grooves and I'm using my Makeup Forever flash palette for this. I tend to use grease paints. I do have some water paints that I'll definitely be trying out in some other looks but for right now I'm going to be using my grease paints for this look and I go back and forth between like this natural one and the bright pink ones and I'm going to go in with some of that purple which is actually like my favorite like bruising shade kind of color and I'm just going to apply that to the edge around the neck piece as well. And I just blend that out um, however you want you can do this however you want make it as gory and everything as you want and I'm pretty much gonna just keep doing that and blending out until I get the defined colors that I want now I'm gonna go in with that um, with the yellow and I'm just going to use that to define that kind of neck bone area I go in with yellow and a little bit of white and a little bit of black just so that it gives off kind of like that bone color like I don't want it to be white but I don't want it to look cartoony either I kind of want like that beigey kind of bone color if that makes any sense to you guys and next I'm gonna go in with some stage blood this is kind of like a bright red blood and I'm just gonna go in with that one first and first and just use my um, it's kind of like a stippling sponge just to apply that to the edges and then I'm gonna go in with some dark blood which is I really love dark blood and I'm just going to apply that just on the back end of my makeup brush just to kind of get it dripping and actually coming out I put some on my chest um, and then I use um, a stippling sponge really just for the rest of the dark um, blood and just making it look really wet and really like a fresh 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 gash slice whatever you want to call it and I pretty much go back between this and the end of a makeup um, brush then I'm gonna go on with some scab blood and I'm just going to use um, a brush pretty much between a, the back end of a brush and the sponge to apply the blood and you can make this as gory or non gory as you want but that is pretty much it for the look at the end of the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let, thumbs up if you like seeing Halloween looks. I love Halloween and FX looks. Um, but thumbs up this video if you like seeing these types of videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. I will have another Halloween look next week. And I do have a makeup, uh, makeup tutorial on this actual eyeshadow look that I did. And hopefully that will be out next week as well. So thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.